Prislin with a pull-up three-pointer, it's good. Dickert open from three-point land, good. Wood gets a screen from Wendt, nails a three. Blython with a pull-up, J, nails it. Ricky bank shot, good. Waiter for three, got it. Intercepted and laid off the glass. Deep shot from the side is up and good. Risberg's two-point a shot is in. Splits for the fence and scores with two seconds to go. This is like being in purgatory, all these balls bouncing around and I can't get a shot off. We're back at the Armory, Mike Martin along with Chris Wright and uh, girls game very excited, exciting, maybe not real well played. A uh, little higher pace when we get into the boys action. Yeah it is and we'll see what happens tonight. I talked all day, I said that you'll see a lot of stuff coming from stuff exciting in the first game. The first game will be close, and we'll see if the South men can hang with the uh, North boys tonight. In the first game, North jumped out to a big lead. South was able to battle back on their free throw shooting in the second quarter, but uh, North was able to overcome that comeback and uh, build up and, and win by 20-some points. I think it was 22. Well, as most people know, the bottom line is can the South Red Wings take care of the pressure and the press by North. It's not anything we haven't talked about or seen before. Can the guards handle it? Uh, they have been awful strong uh, doing that. The guard play for South has increased, and Scott Murphy's just been unbelievable as of late. You know, we talked during the girls' game about uh, Hosevar being miss outside and uh, Bischoff being miss inside. Uh, the boys have the same situation with uh, Phelan and Murphy. Yeah, Nick Phelan. Uh, it's coming in here. You got Nick Vale and Scott Murphy, two of the top scorers in the conference, top six scorers in the conference, to counter uh, Brad Wayner and Chad Decker, who are, I believe, two and four in the conference. So you got four of the best scorers in the whole valley right here in this gym. One thing that was real interesting to read in the paper today was uh, they mentioned about Wayner and Decker and their scoring, but they're right up there with assists. Yeah, they are. They distribute the ball so well. And, you know, with the high-flying north offense, you're going to create a lot of opportunities for assists. When you got Matt Horzen banging off threes over there, Adam Schmitz has been shooting, scoring a lot more points. Those guards are giving them easy looks, and they're banging those shots home. Now, one thing that the North was able to do a good job of in the first game was shut down Nick Vail, and they put a taller player on him, and uh, and uh, it was hard for him to get a shot off. Uh, but they also need to shut off the inside play. What do you think they're going to do to stop Murphy? Well, you're right. Uh, Nick Phelan's really got to start. I said, you know what? If South's going to win this game, they're going to have to go off and start shooting. they got to start hitting those trees, which, which they're very capable of doing. Jacob Wilson might get hot as well. But as I said, you know, you got to watch Phelan. As soon as you do that, Scott Murphy's been a definite force the second half of the season. So you got to counter down front him. That's where Adam Schmitz, Chad Decker, Kyle Tetzlaff, they're going to have to earn their uh, keep tonight. Now we talk a little bit about uh, South and their defense because they got a tough, tough road to hoe also, and their defense is only ranked sixth in the conference. North is noted for their defense; they're ranked second in the league. Yeah, something that Coach Koopman definitely wants to work on entering tournament play next week. I believe the seeding meeting is coming up just tomorrow, as a matter of fact. So this is be a big game to see what where everybody stands out and pulls out. North got to win. North wins tonight. They may have the number one seed because Cedarburg lost yesterday. Now we talk a little bit about motivation for tonight's game. North has a conference wrapped up. There's a lot of motivation for South. They want to break that losing streak. They want to solidify second place. Right now they're tied with East. Uh, but the big thing is seeding, seeding, seeding. Yeah, Coach Coach uh, Koopman wants to get a win here tonight as we're going to get pushed out of here. Sorry, Marty. But uh, he wants to get a win, build some confidence for his young men in entering into the tournament. Once again, as we said before, the uh, South was picked for, you know, six or seven in the conference, and Coach Koopman's done an outstanding job. If they can finish second in the conference, that'd be a great tip of the hat to Coach Koopman and his staff, including Mike Rank. There's a little, just about three minutes left before the start of the game. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll have the lineups for tonight's ball game. Certified Angus Beef from Piggly Wiggly. Dad likes big, juicy steaks. T-bone, four and a half. But steakhouses just take forever. So Dad cooks it up himself. Who needs reservation anyway? Restaurant quality certified Angus beef. Just one more reason to shop at Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly, shop and My compliments to the chef.
won't leave you for someone younger. They won't notice you've gained weight. They won't fire you. They won't talk about you behind your back. All they'll ever do is love you. Find the love of your life. Visit PetBinder at ASPCA.org. Having twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? We're back at the Armory, and uh, we kind of cut out after that girls game pretty quickly. I'd like to go through the scores, all scores for that game. Let's start off with the visiting team, Sheboygan North. Bridget Lambrick had four points. Ashley Tudis had two. Nicole Getch, three. Jocelyn Burtz had two. Whitney Hare had six. Danielle Jordan, three. Meredith Forsterling, three. And of course, Genevieve Gertner with 31 to lead all scores. For Sald, Miranda Risberg had 16. Heather Koister had two. Crystal Browns had three. Erica Gustafson had two. Shana Hosevar had 12. Sarah Clark had four. April Bishop. Bischoff 10, Sarah Lemihue 4, and Ashley Utech was 6. And uh, that rounds out the scoring for that ball game, and uh, we're ready for action in the boys' side. through the starting lineup for the visiting North High Golden Raiders. Number 15, Matt Horizon is a senior. He goes 5'11". Number 21, Chad Decker is a six-foot senior. Brad Wainer, number 31, is a 6'3 senior. Number 33, Brandon Miller is a 6'1 senior. And rounding out the senior lineup, there you see Dan Koopman. For Sheboygan North is Adam Schmitz. He's a 6'2 senior. We're going through the North High lineup as uh, as I get finished. Orson Decker Wainer being announced. There you see Brandon Miller and Adam Schmitz rounding out the starting lineup. State ranks like an North Raiders. State rank. Matter of fact, I brought those rankings along. I should pull that out. We see Tim Stubbe, one of the starters for South. Jake Wilson, number 25. High-scoring guard, Nick Phelan, number 31. Admir Azmisovic making a uh, rare start. And rounding out the uh, lineup is 
Scott Murphy. Murphy, number 43, is a 6'5 junior, and Miss Vic, number 35, is a 6'5 junior. Nick Phelan is a 5'10 senior. Jake Wilson is a 5'10 senior, and Tim Stubbe is a 5'8 sophomore. Our officials for tonight's ball game are a couple of really good ones. Lee Cornhouse and Todd Gutsman, they're from Green Bay. Uh, these gentlemen worked the state championship division one game last year down in Madison, and they've uh, done north-south games before, so they know what it's all about. And that's just what you want here, as I've talked about in the past years. It's very difficult to play here, and for officials to adjust is something different as well. You notice the baselines and the sidelines, there's red lines. Yeah, that little red line there. That's, yep. Uh, yep, that's where you can stand behind for inbounds, but otherwise the black line is out. But so when you're dribbling the ball up the court, you can go outside that red line. That's, that's correct. Okay. So that's different, and of course we got the stage here, so officials need to come up to the stage to address the fouls. And uh, both sides are jumping around. Decker saves it, and Misovic has it. And we're off. It's number three with the ball, Tim Stubbe. He's a little lightning bug. He's quicker player. Didn't start the year off because of injury, but since he's come into the lineup, he has a different aspect to the south attack. Brad Wehner on Phelan. Nick Phelan's first shot is off, no good. Whistle goes against Admir as Misovic, his first foul, and South's first team foul. Well, I know South came up empty on that one, but I'll tell you what, uh, he got a wide open look there. Orzen had a wide open look and couldn't get it to go. Stubbe racing down the floor. Reverse layup is no good. Wilson getting called for a charge, standing in and taking it was Adam Schmitz. Well, a good hustle by Wayner caused Stubbe to have to adjust his shot, and that's what caused the flurry of action down here. Normally, uh, Tim makes those, but uh, under pressure, a little different story. Yep. And Decker eyeing it out, up, but from uh, that far deep, he doesn't do it. Schmitz does. He nails a 17-footer. Looks like South came out in a little type of a zone there. Got to respect Tim's speed here. Uh, Tim Stubbe's pass to uh, Wilson is out of bounds. We got to pay credit to uh, Jim Lairsh, Chris. He gets the names of the officials for me, and uh, he told me he definitely wanted to be credited with that, so there's your <laughs> <laughs> credit, Jim. <laughs> Schmitz with a good rebound right over Phelan's head. Horizon with another three-point attempt, and that one he got to go. Five to nothing, North on top. Here's the token North press. So you've seen it for years. North wants him to play fast. There's Scott Murphy with the ball. Quite an impact he's made the second half of the season. Stubbe inside Horizon makes a pass inside, but it's tipped away by Decker, and then picked off by Schmitz. And Stubbe with two quick turnovers already. Just a sophomore in this tough, tough place to play. And even the best players make mistakes early on in ball games until they settle down and quit being so nervous. Chad Decker's pass across the lane was tipped out of bounds. Brandon Miller has it tipped away by Scott Murphy. And Stubbe has it. Oh, nice shot there by Tim Stubbe. That'll probably break that little nervousness. Had to adjust the shot again, but that time he was able to use the glass. Chad Decker called for the walk. Shuffled his feet before he put it on the floor. Wilson's wide open. Oh, no look pass to Jake Wilson for an easy two. Five to four, North on top. Wilson with a little stutter step, takes it hard to the hole and scores. Six to four, South on top. Six straight points by the Southsiders. Decker from deep nails a three.
second three-point basket by Sheboygan North. Phelan again with a no-look pass, but the ball is kicked. One thing I've noticed, uh, Chris, you know, they've got Murphy and Phelan and Wayner, Decker, you know, they're all big time scorers, but they certainly are very unselfish with the ball. Murphy hard to the basket, puts it up and in. No question about that, he had one mission and that was one dribble and drive to the basket. A nice play there by the junior, Scott Murphy. We're all tied up at eight. Decker from three land, no good. Murphy had the rebound, but then Chad Decker stepped in and uh, committed a foul. I didn't notice it so much during the first game, Chris, but uh, the second game, the announcer sounds like Michael Buffer. <laughs> <laughs> Who well, was here the last time we were here? Thrill of a lifetime for the young men that got to hear their names called by him. Another driving dish. Phelan's pass to Admissovic, but his shot is blocked by Brandon Miller, but then he's gonna have a whistle called, on a foul called on him. Drive penetration and dump has just been the key so far for South, that and getting through the press and making easy opportunities to score. And here's a chance for a couple free throws for who I just referred to as Abner. Little Abner. But <laughs> Misovic puts the first free throw down. I remember when we interviewed him at, earlier in the year, what a fun interview he was. He was just thrilled to be... Uh, well, he had a good game that night, yes, too. Yes, he, he did. He filled that middle. He provided the presence inside they needed. Four-point run by South gives them a 10-8 to eight lead. It's hard to believe that that was way back in the first week of December. Really? But unfortunately, he's gonna pick up his second foul here, I think, Marty. You're right. Josh Fastro's had some time starting, comes into the game. Zastro, Lubach, and, and Admissovic tonight, you know, making starts. Uh, Josh did the bulk of the starting early on, and then Lubach came in for a few games. And I was somewhat surprised to see uh, Admir in there. Not that he's not worthy of starting, it's just that he hadn't started all year. Well, he is a big kid, and uh, one thing that North does kind of not have is size. They don't have that big aircraft carrier to take care of things. And now Chad's going to get his second foul. It's a counter, Admir's. But for North, that's a definite blow for them. Well, I think Coach Desitel would have rather had the travel call because he did both. Brian Herman checking in for uh, Decker. Brian Herman, of course, the sophomore. We talked a lot about him in the football season. Had a spectacular season for uh, Coach Tudis over at North. Scooby breaking the press. Gets it inside to Wilson. Miller with a block shot. No foul call on that one. We haven't heard Brad and Wainer's name called yet. Horizon open for just a second. His shot is no good. Herman high for the rebound. And Wainer's shot is no good. Lead feed to Phelan. Layup is in. They're doing a nice job of beating North down the floor. Get creating easy opportunities. And for that, they've earned themselves a four-point lead. Shot is blocked by Stubbe. Horizon was open for a second, but Stubbe recovered in time. Castro's shot is blocked by Schmitz out of bounds. Very good call by the official. Got that right, Marty. Shane Gruby checking in. Oh, they caught Norris Sleep and Murphy with an easy two. That takes me back to my uh, Futsies basketball days, Chris, with uh, 
Big Johnson, Johnson Ellis Alice. inside, yeah. Throw it right up in the air and he puts it in. I believe, isn't John a uh, Hall of Famer over at South? He's on that wall Hall of, of fame. fame, yep. Jump shot by Schmitz is no good. And a foul is gonna be called on North. Fouls are mounting for the North side team. Up to four ready. And that goes on Brandon Miller. That's his second foul. Kyle Tetchlog, KT in the ball game, along with uh, Ryan Ludwig, number 23. Ryan Lubach, pardon me. Sastro coming up to relieve pressure. South on top, 14 to eight. Phelan goes right around the defense, dishes it inside to Lubach, but Herman with a block. Wiener almost shuffled the feet, but no call. Inside feed to Tetzlog, he pulls it away from Zastro and then puts it up and in. Well, Kyle Tetzlog, sophomore. Coming in right away for uh, Miller and making an impact. That breaks an eight point run by the Red Wings. Wainer with the tip. Free throw is no good. Wainer's tip is no good. And then the ball goes out of bounds off of Zastro. Second in is Anthony Vaughn. We've talked about him too this year. A little spark plug off the bench. Yeah. Good shooter. He's he's kind of a big spark plug though. I mean he's skinny, but he is 6'2. Well, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was just gonna say though, he really helped uh, South early on in the year this year and uh, provided with some scoring when uh, Tim Stubbe was hurt and uh, Scott Murphy. Murphy putting a face guard on Wiener. Here we got a little type of zone here and you got Scott Murphy up on the top. How about that? Little inside out action. Herman shot is no good. Rebound goes to Gruby. Wainer loads it up. And I think Zastro might get called for a foul. Schmidt's got the rebound. He's gonna go on Murphy. That's the fourth foul on South. North also has 14 fouls. We're at the 140 mark. South on top, 14 to 10. Good shot of Coach Koopman and Mike Rank in the red vest. Scott Murphy checked back in, although I guess he was in. I think it was Zastro checked back in. South Saint in that zone, so you're gonna have to knock some threes down. Ruby loads it up from way outside the line, gets nothing but air. Tetchlog with a head fake, puts it up and in. Well, I'll tell you what, when you uh, play a zone, one thing you want is one shot and out, and you can't allow offensive rebounds, and that's exactly what South did that time. Tetchlog barding Murphy. That's a good matchup, Chris. Vaughn's shot, or Vaughn, past the Vaughn's, goes off his leg, goes right to Zastro, he lays it up and in. And that could be Miller's uh, third foul with a minute left in the first quarter. And it is. Ooh, I'm sorry to call on Brian Herman. For Herman, that's his first foul. We saw another strong play there, uh, Marty, by Josh Zastro going real up strong against the tall timbers, making the basket and getting a three-point chance. Free throw's no good. Good rebound by Bogenschutz. 16 to 12, north on top, south on top, pardon me. We're at the 52nd mark of the first quarter. Ruby's shot is again off the mark, but Bogenschutz grabs the rebound, puts it in. Six offensive rebounds I have for North already, and that's way too many. Sometimes it's better to miss everything. Yeah. 
that nobody's expecting that. Bell's got to do a better job on the board. We're down to 20 seconds. Looks like they're going to try to hold for one kind of shot here. 10. Oh, feeling right around Gooby for the two. At the end of one quarter play, it's South 18, North 14. Properly inflating my tires burns less fuel and saves me money on gas. Yeah, I'm saving Mother Nature from pollution, but more importantly, she saved me 11 bucks. Ow! Oh! Environmental defense, get green. By keeping my car regularly tuned, I save money on gas and repairs. That also means cleaner air. You know, feels good to help save the cash planet. Environmental defense, get green. For more tips, go to getgreen.com. Kids aren't afraid of other kids. Or people with different color skin. That's because kids know there are other things. Worse things. Bigger things to be afraid of. Like monsters from outer space. Remember, friends come in all colors. Of key players for North with uh, foul trouble, Chris. Yes, uh, Brandon Miller starting uh, post player and Chad Decker leading scorer as well on the bench with two fouls in the first half. Six of 18 shooting for North, just two of 12 from three point line. South, on the other hand, has attempted 12 shot, hitting 50% or hitting six of 12. So still in the zone. Ruby loads it up off. And Stuby with the rebound, lead feed to uh, Murphy. He has a little trouble handling it, then takes it hard to the basket and puts it in. And one of the reasons they are shooting over 50% now is because they're getting all layups, all looks to the basket. Luke Wilson comes away with it. Jake Wilson. Salt on top, 20 to 14. And uh, Wilson's going to get tagged with his second foul. Coach Koopman goes right up to the official and say that was the correct call. Top foul though on Jake Wilson. Horizon and Schmitz check in. Schmitty here doing the inbounds to Brad Wayner, number 31. Nice 10 footer by Schmitz in the lane is good. Second half, as much as we've talked about Scott Murphy, Adam Schmitz has been a definite positive for uh, North. I know a game against Manitowoc, he had some big shots to keep them in there and eventually to hold off the tough ships up there, and uh, he has been playing a tough second half, getting lots of rebounds for North, making a definite impact. He's more of an offensive threat than he was uh, last year, that's for sure. Well, he's got a great jump shot, nice 10, 12-foot J. Phelan's shot over Tetchlock is no good. He gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. Well, good effort. He missed the first one, stuck with it, got the offensive rebound, and another paint uh, points in the uh, paint there for South is what I was trying to say in English, Marty. <laughs> I can relate to that. Schmitz with another 12-footer this time, no good. Tetchlock with the offensive board. He's fouled by Edmisovic, and if that goes on Admir, that's going to be his third. And Josh Dastro's quickly running in here. Just too many offensive rebounds tonight for uh... Tetchlog has uh, four points. He was 0 for 1 earlier. Back in the first quarter, he had a three-point attempt. He missed that free throw, but he got this one. Uh, Nick Phelan with his basket just before the last trip down for the Red Wings. He now has six along with Murphy. They lead uh, South scores. There's Meredith Forsling. 
She changed uniforms quickly. Yeah, really. Second free throw, but another Herman. offensive rebound. And Tetzlock right down the lane with the rebound basket. How many of those are you going to allow to stay in the game here? 22 to 19, South on top. Murphy looking for the opening. Couldn't find it. Petrolock planted right in the middle of the lane. They're letting Murphy go outside. But from seven feet, he's deadly. Well, the hot shooting stays just that way for South, which we said it would have to happen for them to win today. And there's a turnover. Traveling was Jake Fry. Murph, uh, pardon me, Stuby caught in the corner but broke loose. What an advantage he is when he's on the floor. So he didn't have at the beginning of the year. Murphy with a pump fake goes around two north defenders and puts it up and in. All right, he's got oh. ten, 10 points. Yep, that's what I got him for. And I got him all five for five shooting. Tetchlog from outside the line, can't get it to go. Murphy with a rebound. Deep pass to Phelan. Another easy basket opportunity. Tries to scoop it underneath Tetchlog, but can't get it in. Seven point lead and the ball with just four minutes left, four and a half. Phelan must have picked up a great screen. He was wide open from 12, but couldn't get it to go. Horzen, quick release, off the rim. North not shooting well. Deep pass to Stuby, a little too deep, and a great catch down there. Oh, almost a great catch by Jeannie Bitkers. I think Lee Benish made the grab. Yep, principal at South with the quick hands. Now we see Jeannie Bitkers sitting with some friends. <laughs> the referee among them. <laughs> Brad Wayner has it. We're at the 4-10 mark of the second quarter. South on top, 26 to 19. Andrew Stewart in for his first action tonight. Brandon Don, nice pass inside by Herman. Stewart gets an easy two. Bogey gets that, Bogan shoots. That's four points for Brandon Bogenschutz. Stewart trying to play the tough D inside on Murphy. Zastro kisses one off the glass for two. Zastro has four points. Stewart outside, no good. A scramble for the ball, saved by Scott Murphy. On the floor, mind you. Lubach eyed it up, but uh, pulled it back. Good decision by Ryan. South with a seven point lead in under three minutes now. And they just continue their hot shooting. And now they're milking some clock. We get a timeout by Coach Koopman. It's a 30-second timeout, so we better keep it here. I mean, you could look at it on the surface and say that uh, North just, is, just isn't shooting well, but uh, South has a lot to do with that. Yes, they have. They've, Like I said, that's a nice little thing they've done with Scott Murphy out on the perimeter. It makes a big presence to take away three-point shooters. And uh, they got Tim Stubbe is real quick. He can recover out the three-point shooters. And uh, I think the other side, they've got... Uh, Lucas Wilson, who just flies. So they're really flying out to jump shooters. They're daring North to penetrate, and they really haven't had that. And without uh, Chad Decker in there to counter anything, uh, it's been pretty pretty quiet night for the North offense. Well, turning over to the offensive side of South, uh, you don't see this very often, but they're beating North down the floor. And you had mentioned why their shooting percentage was so high, is they're getting a lot of layup attempts. A lot of layups and a lot of second shots in the paint. Most of their, you know, if you had a little shot chart out, 
you know, where they're making their baskets. It's most of them. Why are don't all you have that? Hey, you just got that yellow pad. You know, you're writing stuff down. Why don't you have that little? You know, <laughs> While we're trying to get bas that basketball diagram, <laughs> computer uh, over here would help. That's what we ought to talk, Kerry, about getting one more guy if you're a stats person. Now here, South's going to melt some clock. We got a seven-point lead. We got the the ball. Let's just see how much time we can wear down, and then if you get an easy look or a layup like you're going to get here, take oh, it. Oh, Wilson with a great drive. He spotted an opening and took it. Ball almost taken away by Vaughns, but uh, Wainer gets it back. 30 to 21, largest lead by South. Up nine, under two minutes. Schmitz's shot was blocked. Wainer with the rebound, putback is good. Another offensive rebound for North. Something that South will have to discuss at halftime, how we're gonna allow. Those are the first two points by Brad Wainer, Chris. Tipped away by Don. Well, he couldn't handle the ball well enough. They had numbers, but couldn't get the break going. Wiener from outside the line, nails it. And all of a sudden, it's 30-25. Oh, and it's... Brendan Dawn's getting called for a foul. Boy, South had this one. They had it Pretty handily, control. yeah. And now just like that, it's down to four-point ball game. Ball was tossed in, then we had a horn from the table, and uh, I don't know what that was all about. I think it was to let Scott Murphy check in the game. Boy, and that really helps Sal, too, to get him in. That horn goes off. You get a break here. You get two substitutions. Actually, you know what? I think it was the substitutions. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know what the whistle was about for sure. Subi and Wilson are back in. Subi being guarded by Dawn. And then Brandon commits his second fall, a quick one again. And now you're going to put South to the line there now in the bonus. That was the seventh team fall. Jamie Berlin, Sim Sanford next. Sandy Bowles was the young lady sitting at the table also. I can just hear, I can just hear Red Rischel at home saying, if I was at the table, we wouldn't be having these problems. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna run it down to 115. So there was a little bit of a clock problem. This this time, I don't know what the problem was, the uh, first whistle. Thanks but, uh, Tim Stubbe should be at the line shooting a one and one. For the first time since nine o'clock this morning, I've got to shut my mouth, but I was kind of speechless there, Marty. I think the world's a better place for it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I like it when you talk. It gives me a <laughs> chance to write. Stubby woefully short on that free throw attempt. Well, South was coasting with a seven point lead. Dawn's shot is short. Miller with a rebound, tries to pump fake, but he's tied up by Nick Phelan. Well, the mistake there, Marty, was a simple one. He brought the ball right down basically to his belly or his knees instead of going up strong. For you young players out there, keep the ball up high and strong so little guys can't get in there and basically cost you a chance to uh, score. <laughs> Coach Desitel not very happy about that play either. <laughs> Stubby breaks pressure. <coughs> not a layup. Lubach's shot is blocked. Wainer with the rebound and the, gets it out on the run and makes a nice dish off to Schmitz for an easy two. I was just saying before, Marty, with 2.26 left, you know, you ha South had the ball in a seven-point lead, and uh, 
since then, it's all kind of been downhill. North's right back in the ball game. Now they think they're gonna hold it for one shot here. Try to keep the lead going into halftime. Maybe get a bucket here to even give them some more momentum. South, of, or excuse me, North of course wants a stop. We're at 15 seconds remaining until half. South on top, 30 to 28. Uh, Coach Desatel has got good contributions from uh, just about his entire bench tonight in the first half. Phelan going hard to the hoop, scoops it off the glass, tip up is up and in by Vaughn. We're at halftime, South on top, 32 to 28. I battle injustice. I eradicate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop economies. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. I'm Bob McGrath. And I'm Big Bird. And we love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music... Like Twinkle Twinkle? Uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. To find out how children learn and grow with music, visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see... Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does. Athletic competition is all about potential. The opportunity to look inside yourself, to challenge yourself, to be better than you ever dreamed imaginable. Junior achievement is also about dreams and the potential to make those dreams come true. Jay's free enterprise education programs help kids say, I can, when everything around them says, you can. Junior achievement, let their potential be your inspiration. We're back at the Armory where the South High Red Wings lead at halftime, 32 to 28. Uh, let's run through the scores real quick. First for the visiting North Raiders, Matt Horzen has three, Chad Decker three, Brad Wainer five, Adam Schmidt six, Kyle Tetchlog off the bench, led North in scoring with seven, and Brian Bogenschutz at four. For South, Stubbe had two, Zastro four, Anthony Vaughn's two on that tip-in right at the buzzer to end the halftime. Jake Wilson had six, Nick Phelan had six, Admir Ivmisovic had two, and Scott Murphy was the big force with uh, 10 points and uh, a couple other things, Chris, that you uh, circled. First thing I see is three for 18, shooting from three-point line for North High. You gotta shoot better than that in the second half. Another thing I noticed, all for one three-point attempts for Sheboygan South, which means you're, you're allowing all this drive penetration here when they're not even knocking down any threes out there, so maybe back off a half a step, you still want to pressure, ball pressure always, but my gosh, they haven't shot any threes. Everything's been done in the paint. One thing that I thought, Chris, is uh, in that first game, Nick Phelan didn't get any good looks. The only shot attempts he had were four shots, and uh, he's getting a lot of good looks tonight. Well, he's got eight shots already, Marty, in the first half. He's three for eight shooting, and uh, maybe we'll let the dance team go yep. here, and then we'll come Come back. We'll do what's best, and that's be quiet.
built a nice program over there with their dance team, Marty. Todd Williams has to be very proud of those young ladies. And uh, what you just saw there, ladies and gentlemen, was a product of a lot of hard work. Many hours put into those routines. Yes, it is. And they start even at the freshman level. I know they had dance team members over there as well. Um, so they, this is something that they take a lot of pride in at South, and uh, they should be very proud of those young ladies, as you said. They were state champions. Uh, Chris had mentioned that. They had an opportunity to go to nationals this weekend, elected to stay home and entertain you fans at home. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll have action for the second half. The challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. You know, we sing for millions of girls, but helping out in schools, that's the real deal, baby. I know our love can multiply. I'm the cute one, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been backstage before? Cause you're the exit. I think you'll find that gravity is key in what I do. Once was one, but now we're two. I'm sitting at a <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter who you are, or what you drive, or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. Get a job. It's a giraffe! I don't see it. The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. Americansforthearts.org. Well, Chris, I'm glad I got my own mug. <laughs> Couple well-deserved sodas. Well, I know Coach Desatel is not happy with his team's play, but uh, considering they are down nine and were able to close to within uh, four, isn't too bad. He had good contributions from a lot of bench players. Yeah, I have my sheet, as we said before, Marty. My sheet is just full of numbers of blue uh, North players. You see a shot of the band. Uh, 12 offensive rebounds for North. That's something that South's got to clean up a little bit. And a red hot 62% Sheboygan South. Well, we told you at the outset of the game that if South can shoot well, uh, they're going to do very, very well and have a chance to win this ball game. Scott Murphy's leading the way five for five. Jake Wilson's driving a paint three for four. I look at them all, you know, Josh Dasso two for two. Timmy Subi's one for two. I mean, they're just getting contributions from so many players. Uh, the only person that's kind of missed is the only guy that's not shooting from 50% basically is Nick Phelan. He's just three for eight, so with one more, he'll be right there as well. With the foul trouble North had, uh, Don, Decker, and Miller each with two. Uh, Coach Desatel used 12 different players in the first half. And another thing that's positive for Sheboygan North, they're down four, and Chad, excuse me, Chad Decker only played uh, about three minutes. Wainer's three-point attempt is no good, but Decker with the rebound, and then Schmitz's rebound shot is no good, but he's fouled by Nick Phelan. Well, just as we start here, once again, two offensive rebounds for Sheboygan North right in the outset. You, you just mentioned can't... that they had 12 in the first half, right? Yes, I did, and it just, you can't have that happen, and uh, they got to do a much better job of pounding those boards and getting a body on people, especially since you're bigger. Oh, eventually that's uh, well, it's gonna hurt them this time. They picked up a foul. Schmitz will get a couple of free throw attempts, but uh, more often than not, you know, they're gonna score baskets off of those rebounds.
little moisture problem being taken care of. You know, I was looking before, Marty, traditionally the walls sweat, but uh, it's not that cold today. The well, it's gotta get pretty cold outside. I do notice I know by exactly, the window. I, noticed, I know exactly what you mean. And through the years, we've had some days here where there's so much moisture and humidity that it's caused uh, slipperiness on the floor. Yeah, then you have to stop the floor and stop the game and mop up the floor. Schmitz makes the second of two, it's 32-29. North opens the second half, scoring. Murphy has it tipped away by Decker, takes it hard to the basket and lays it in. Well, you don't want to get him going like he did at the first game. Well, that's for sure. He now has five points. I missed what happened there, Marty. I think it was a turnover by South. I had my head down also. Well, I was looking at there was stuff on the floor thrown out by the North students and uh, watch him clean that up and I missed what happened. Horizon open from outside the line. Shot hits the bracket but doesn't fall in. And then it's tipped out of bounds by the North High player. North, as I said, North just hit three of 18 in the first half from three-point line, and they start off 0 for 2 here. That's got to get better as well. As shooters, you got to keep shooting them. You know they're going to start falling. Murphy, the big guy, helping to relieve pressure against the press. Two very entertaining games tonight so far, Marty. You got that right. I was just thinking with uh, Murphy, you know, helping to bring the ball up. It keeps the uh, North quick players from uh, pressuring. Scooby with a three-pointer. Well, as we said, uh, 0 for 1 from three-point land was uh, South, but just like that, three-pointer gets South a lead as uh, Tim Scooby attempts his first one and bangs it home. He has five. He only had two in the first half, but uh, his presence on the floor is very important, not just in points. Tetchlog's rebound shot is up and in. He now has nine. It's 35-33, South still on top. Bailing out the Stubby, but he didn't have the shot, so he decided not to take it. Uh -oh. Bailing open. His shot is no good. His first clean look at a three since early in the first quarter. Wainer dribbles it up and takes it from outside the line and nails it. And North on top for the first time, 36 to 33, 35. Very good time out here by Coach Koopman. Settle the troops, long way to go. You've played well so far. Call a quick timeout. Actually, Norris' last lead was early in the first quarter when they were up eight to six. And there you see Coach Desatel. Team is playing better, and uh, actually it amounts to uh, shooting a little better. Yep, and uh, what a difference that three-point weapon can use there. And Chad Decker, of course, had an impact with a steal and a bucket. Brad Wainer now has uh, eight points on the night. And, and Koopman definitely concerned. Gotta just tell the boys, relax, you played well so far. Long way to go. Murphy again coming up to relieve pressure. And there's quick Jake Wilson. Oh, nice pass there to Josh. Yeah, as Astro had an open look from about eight feet out, but didn't take the shot. Sometimes, though, you know, with the press, the way North runs it, they want to get you taking those quick shots, and by uh, slowing things down, it keeps you in your offense. A little give and go by Stubby, but he didn't have the shot. Murphy did from outside the line and got a friendly kiss off the board. And they think it hit a wire up there, and it actually looked like it did hit a wire. Oh, right yeah, it's shaken.
for Murphy. That's his first three-point basket of the night. He has 13 points so far. Borzen with a three. Rain and threes. And a turnover. Borzen outside the line again. Bango. 42 to 38, North up four. Ketchlock with a block. That'll be the first fall on Ketchlock and the first team fall. Coach Testel is gonna make a switch here. He's gonna put Adam Schmitz on uh, Scott Murphy and put Kyle Ketchlock on Josh Sastro. Put the experienced player on that uh, big score for South. Anthony Vaughn's almost lost it. Got it over to uh, Zastro, who looked again like he had an outside shot, only about a 10-footer, but didn't take it. Yeah, and they just aren't attacking. That's two chances they had for uh, chances to attack, and they decide, decide not to take those shots. South running their motion offense. Good live hand by Kyle Tetchlog. Now, Stubbe got the pass inside to Murphy, but uh, Tetchlog released on his defender and double team the ball. Jump ball situation. Referee's doing a really nice job of indicating what's happening on the floor. Yeah, we haven't had to say their names much or talk about officiating much, and that's always a good thing. Or <laughs> what number are they calling with their fingers? You know, you always are pretty aware of what they're doing. Again, a sign of good officials, and when they don't make their presence felt, that means they've done a good job. That foul goes on uh, Kyle Tetchlog. Same play. Ball stolen away. Wainer right down the lane, can't get it to go. Two North players on the ball when they landed. Uh, unfortunate set of circumstances. Sophomore for sophomore, Herman in for Tetschlag. 3.44 remaining in the third quarter. It's 42 to 38 North. Bonds went right around Schmidt, but then had it knocked away by Decker. Horzen with a quick release again. And that's up and over. That was an easy one to see. Yep. I have five turnovers for South in the first four and a half minutes. They're not getting shot attempts. I only have them for three shot attempts in the whole half because they keep turning the ball over. And uh, just not attacking like they were in the first and another turnover. Decker to Wainer, good. North on a run. Full time out. We'll take a short break and be right back. It's all going to be fine. Come on, take a deep breath. Keep on breathing. back at the Armory North is in the midst of a 16 to 4 run. They were down at halftime 32 to 28. They are now ahead 44 to 38. And uh, Chris, you're talking about shot attempts before, and or I should say the lack of shot yeah. attempts. Yeah, just three shot attempts for South here in the first five minutes of the third quarter. That's because they had six turnovers. And uh, one of those difference makers, of course, is that number 21 in the blue. Chad Decker, he's caused two tur uh, steals already, and uh, good timeout again by Coach Koopman. Settle the troops, stop that north run, and that's the key here. Is you, you know, as a coach, you want to stop runs, and you just said there's a big one going for north. Scooby out on the loose, gets between two north defenders, almost had it tipped away, Ooh. gets it inside to Zastro, and then back out, and. Uh, Nice. South again, very patient on the offense, and then they throw it away, and again, another shot attempt. Yeah, nice quick pass there by Tim Stubbe earlier. Couldn't score off that one, but unfortunately, he threw that one away.
Petschlock trying to get position inside. Yeah, a little deep for Wiener <laughs> to want to load that one up. Salt in a 2-3 zone. Orzel with a quick release outside the line. His shot bounces around on the rim but doesn't go down. Scott Murphy with a strong rebound over Chad Decker that time. This guy's got to get hot. 31, Nick Phelan. Astro's short is shot is short. Murphy out of nowhere knocks the ball away from Brad Wiener. Well, since that time out, Chris, we played a minute and eight seconds without a score. Wiener loads and fires and nails a three. Well, the three-point shooting that was That's a, not coming in the first half is definitely coming in the second half, and it's coming in waves. Fourth three-point basket this quarter. Wayner now has 13 points, and North is on top, 47 to 38. Wilson trying to go down the lane has the ball tipped away. One forty-four remaining until the quarter is finished. Decker almost stole that one away. Stubbe from outside the line, no good. Brian Herman got that rebound. Hornsen's open again. Well, he had somebody running at him. Josh Zastro that forced him to have to adjust his shot. Good hustle by uh, number five, Josh Zastro. There you get a good shot of uh, Tom Desatel. Well, North, 14 championships in 26 years in the 92-93 season. Those uh, championship teams were undefeated. So he's trying to repeat that for the third time. Schmitz with a 17-footer rolls off. Admir is Misovic with a strong rebound. Just his first of the night. I was going to say that's a nice run by Coach Desatel, but, you know, and he's got to earn it, too, because he's got to play second place East and second place South the last two games to, to finish that undefeated season. Stubbe with a nice move inside to score two. He now has seven points. 47 to 40, North on top. We're under a minute left in the quarter. Is in from outside the line. He's got it again. That's his third three-point basket of the quarter. He has 12 points in the game. Stubbe maybe a little too much dribbling, but he gets bailed out. And on a Schmitz is call. getting the troops together. Settle them down a little bit. Good decision there by the senior. There's a shot of Brian Herman, number 35. We're at the 30-second mark. North on top, 50 to 40. We talked about all the North offense, but the North defense has really increased too. Stubbe from way outside the line with 16 seconds left. Not a good shot attempt. 10 seconds left, Wayner has it. I think it's Wayner time. Shot is no good and he's gonna be fouled by Admir Misovic. Is that number four, Marty? Number four. Oh, they got Zastro instead. Oops, and I already marked it down. Darn, hate that when it happens. Wayner will be at the line shooting two. Free throw shooting's been one of the thorns in North Side, just shooting 58% this year from the line in conference play. Brad gets one out of two. Something that they're gonna have to definitely improve. They wanna get to the show. That being the state tournament. South, on the other hand, is almost at 70%, which is pretty good for a high school team. 
Lubach kicks it up to Zastro. Oh, look. Well, you got to take that shot when it's there. At the end of three quarters of play, North on top, 51 to 40. Certified Angus beef from Piggly Wiggly. Dad likes big, juicy steaks. T-bone, four and a half. But steakhouses just take forever. So Dad cooks it up himself. Who needs reservation anyway? Restaurant quality certified Angus beef. Just one more reason to shop at Piggly Wiggly. My compliments to the chef. This is the story about a group of kids who volunteered. Do something nice for someone. We fixed stuff. Did some art projects with the kids. We fixed up this house. We worked in the woods. Cleaned up the park. Did something for the planet. We just did it. No other reason. And you know what? It was great. At first, they didn't know each other. Well, that didn't last long. This guy is really funny. We ace are my new friends. Are you into it? Call 4-H or check out our website at areyouintoit.com. 23 to 8 advantage for North that quarter in scoring points, and now is fueled by five three point baskets. Well, I'll tell you the big difference there was North attempted 10 more shot attempts, just seven shot attempts I have for South in that quarter, and uh, they got to get back to what they did so well driving the paint, easy baskets, beating North up the floor, and uh, just adds to the South frustration of offensive foul there on Jacob Wilson. Just trying to make things happen. Uh, third fall on uh, Jake Wilson. And it's hard for South because they run a, a patient offense for the most part. And being down 11, you know, they might have to get away from some of that. Right, but they were flying up the floor in the first half. And then I don't know if North's getting back so well or South's just not pushing as well or attacking as well here in the second half. Of course, making five threes for North too there in that half, or in that quarter help too. Decker trying to take it down the lane, was stopped. Salt playing very good defense. Decker's shot is missed and Phelan with the rebound. Done a nice job of shutting down Chad Decker today. No basket, Wilson being called for the offensive foul. And that'll be number four on Jake. And I think he got something in the head. I was just going to say it had injury to insult. He's hurt. Well, Lakeland Sports Medicine right out there. The trainer taking a look at uh, Jake. Dan Koopman, of course, out there. Not happy with that call. He walks by the official. Well, Coach Koopman and uh, the official are having words, and he's not very happy. I thought it was a good call. Um, I mean, he was stationary, but you know, they've knocked people down before and they don't call anything, and then something like that happens. It's you know, I always say in high school basketball, if there's contact, especially getting guys getting flattened, either it's got to be an offensive foul or a defensive foul. I just don't know in high school ball about this stuff called a no call. Um, these are just kids, and somebody could get hurt. Well, here you see Jake Wilson. Well, he's a tough kid. Well, it's nice to see him to be able to walk off the floor. He's a tough kid, and he'll be playing baseball for Coach Clace. Roman center field, one of the best players in our conference, that's for well, sure. Uh, you were at the old timers meeting the other night. Larry Heisel was there, and uh, you and Gene Mann, I know, had words with him. What's uh, what's the scoop on that? Yeah, they want to get uh, young youth people into uh, Miller Park, and uh, they want to take teams down there. and That'd be high school baseball teams, too. Yeah, right? and little league teams, and have, give them an opportunity to practice over there, or watch practice, or BP, and eventually play high school games in Miller Park. Wouldn't that be neat? Wainer with a dish off to Decker for an easy two. And North rolling 53 to 40. Zastro's shot is off, but he gets fouled. 
And there's the old sin of mine, following a jump shooter. And for once, South looked to attack and shoot. Josh got a nice open look there. Was batted on the arm. Now it's gonna get a three-point attempt here. Josh Sastro shooting a pair. Unofficially, he's the 19th leading scorer in the uh, conference. And uh, actually, Josh was fouled on a three-point attempt. He's going to get three shots. Yep. Did you get who that foul was on? Number three, Brandon Dawn. That was his third. Probably why he's coming out of the game. Or followed that jump shooter. Well, I know you'd have him out if you were his coach. <laughs> yeah. Quite quickly. Two for three trip for uh, Josh Astro makes it 53 to 42. Full timeout by South. We're going to take a timeout. Before you know it, she talks. Before you know it, she walks. Before you know it, she knows you. Before you know it, she has a heart. Before you know you're pregnant, when your baby's no bigger than a grain of rice. Before she's a twinkle in your eye, that's when you need to take folic acid every day. After that, it's too late to prevent some serious birth defects. Folic acid now, before you know it. There you see the decorated armory wall. All the walls around here are decorated, and uh, you mentioned it before, you know, it's not that cold out. Sometimes the walls get a lot of perspiration on them, although up by that window on the corner would be that northeast corner, yeah, right up there. You can kind of see it, a little glossy right above the, the word frigid, fidget. Good shot, Brian. Six forty remaining in the ball game. North on top by eleven. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright bringing you the game. Decker trying to take it inside. He's fouled. Ball get charged on Josh Zastro. No, we have not heard Scott Murphy's name except for that one three pointer this whole half. Oh, what a rebound by Decker, but his putback is no good. And then Schmidt's pass inside to Bogenschutz is tipped out of bounds. Sweet. Decker with a 12-footer puts it in. He's got nine points. 55 to 42. Stubby's shot rolls off and then it's tipped out of bounds by Bogenschutz. South just can't get anything to go. Nick Phelan has one shot attempt in the second half. Scott Murphy one shot attempt in the second half. I was gonna say, Chris, you know, we're almost 10 minutes into the second half and South only has three baskets. And in this quarter, they have two free throws by, uh, oh, Looked like he was over and back on the second step back. Oh, good try there by Nick Phelan. Oh, his Astro shot is off, no good. And Horizon comes away with the board. You are right, even when they get the good looks inside, the ball is not dropping in for him. And that one just rolled around the rim and just decided to kick out. Largest lead of the game right now, 13 points by North. 5.50 remaining. And Tim Stubbe gets called for a foul. That'll be his first. It's kind of hit kind of a lull here, Marty. Yeah, I was watching Coach was yelling at his team. I shouldn't say yelling at, coaching them but I couldn't understand what he wanted him to do. Not turn it over. Yeah, not do that. 
Tetzlaug had Decker wide open, but couldn't get him the ball. And once again, they're stuck, but there's a backdoor cut by Nick. Failing for two. His first points of the second half, he has eight in the game. Oh, they're gonna try some trap. Ball is almost stolen away, but Anthony Vaughns is gonna get tagged with the foul. Good decision there by Sal, try to force a turnover there with a trap, she can't reach. Almost had Schmitty up in the air. Seventh foul, that'll put uh, North on the line every foul from now until the end of the game. With those two free throws, Adam Schmitz now has Eight points, and North leads it 57 to 44. 32nd time out, so we'll keep it here. Our next broadcast will be next Thursday night, final game of the year. It'll be Green Bay East at North. Uh, that'll has huge implications for South the way it looks. Doesn't look like South will pull this one out, although it's not over. But uh, a win by North would give them an undefeated season, and. Uh, South would have to win their last game. Right, they have to go up to Green Bay Preble, Marty, which, which is, is a tough place yeah, to play. They got Adam Sullivan's pretty uh, tough player, but Preble's been kind of struggling a little bit. And South's been a real tough road game team this year, and so hopefully they can earn that win. Uh, this game is by far from over, so they got to take care of business here, and if they don't, they're going to have to win a tough game on the road and hope they get some help from their neighbors to finish second. That game is also on Thursday night. A lot of Thursday night action next week. Yeah, with the girls tournament starting Tuesday and Friday, nice move. Vastro down the lane for two points. Decker followed by Murphy, but he gets a shot to go. Decker just had three points in the first half. What an impact he makes. He's sitting with 11 right now, could make it 12, and does. That makes it 60 to 46. Boy, I thought South was gonna make a little run there. Gotta fight out those runs, and all of a sudden North comes right back. Stubbe's runner is off. Tetchlog with a strong rebound. Wainer trying to get it inside the catch log, threw it away. Stubbe has his shot blocked by Brad Wainer. Another 30 second timeout. Yeah, by North. Uh, Again, they're allowing drive penetration, which I think they're trying to correct now, which is sometimes is a problem for North. You know, I, I, well, we did the tournament games up in Fond du Lac last year, and uh, North extended pressure over the entire floor, and that really opens up those driving lanes, and we're seeing a little bit of that here tonight. And, uh, maybe at some point you need to just pull back a little bit. Well, I was going to say the first half, that was South's key to success, and I don't know what they did to make adjustments at halftime, but those same things that were there in the first half for South are definitely not there here in the second half. Late here, it's coming here as Tim Stubbe with his quickness is creating that. Josh Zastro had one as well. Um, that's something I think South needs to get back to as well, that drive penetration and punching those gaps. Dylan inside to Murphy, he's muscling his way in, but he's called, uh, pardon me, there's a foul called on his way to the hoop. And that's another thing, Marty, we saw in the first half is Scott Murphy take the ball to the basket like that with some authority. And uh, look at the results you get. Kyle Tetchlog having a big, big night. Eight rebounds for him. Yeah, right now, coach isn't thinking he's having a big night. <laughs> Feeling outside Ooh. shot attempt is no good. Wainer has it for North, and South really scrambling, trying to get the ball. 
Decker had it tipped away and then it went off of Murphy's hand out of bounds. Well, Salt fell asleep for just a second and that's all it took for Horzen to nail another three-pointer and he has 15 points. All threes. 63-46, largest lead of the night, 17. Inside pass from Phelan to Murphy. His shot is up and in and he's fouled by Schmitz. Murphy had uh, a basket in the second quarter, a three-pointer that gave him 13, and now he finally got another basket over halfway through the fourth quarter. And uh, between that time, I don't think he had more than one shot. So no, it's he not didn't. like, you know, he's, he's getting shots and not making. He wasn't even no. getting attempts. He had three attempts in the half, Marty. You're right on there. Three-point play gives him south 49. Herman missed a bunny shot. Bogey got the putback, but he missed it, but it was fouled. Murphy gets tagged with the foul, and they've got him for four. Logan Schutz had four points in the first half. Bogey will be going to, uh, I believe he's going to Valparaiso to play some football down there. Very smart kid. Eric Engelhardt went to Valparaiso, played some football there too. One of the top students at North High School. Now North's gonna play a half court defense. Well, nice move, Nick. Yeah, Phelan goes right around. Wayner can't get his shot to go. Nice dish inside to Zastro, his shot is off. That time he kisses it off the glass and puts it in. Josh Zastro for two. Josh with 10 points off the bench. Sixty-four to fifty-one, three nineteen remaining in the ball game. Anthony Vaughn picks up the foul. Wayner will be shooting two. We're in the double bonus now. is tied with uh, Matt Horizon for the team lead in scoring with 15. He could bump it up to 16 with another free throw make. Kind of a quiet 16 for him. You're right. He hasn't you know, done a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff to get his points. He's just uh, been very workmanlike. Phelan with a spin move. Well, kind of a wild shot, no good, but Murphy gets it put back. Things been kind of tough for Nick. Schmitz with two. Murphy with a three-point bomber. Wow, you he has 21 now. And you would think with his height, he would shoot those trees, but he's shooting like 40% from out there. 68-56. North up 12, South trying to battle back, but uh, very difficult to do against this uh, fine Raider club. And Brad Wayner getting called for an offensive foul. And I think South, what they're trying to do is set up a half court trap, which caused a situation to uh, double team there, and Brad kind of pushed off and drew the foul. Well, Coach Desatel waved his team back, get back in the half-court defense. Well, I think that moisture is hitting, and it's 
at a good time, too, because the game is almost over. I hope it doesn't have an impact. Well, I think that case, Chris, it's more uh, Murphy falling down oh. with his wet jersey and that. And this brand new floor. <laughs> <laughs> what you guys are seeing on your screen, it doesn't look that good when you're sitting here. It's not quite that light, especially that shot there. Murphy battling his way in against Adam Schmitz, and uh, Schmidt will get called for the foul. Murphy will be at the line shooting the old fashioned one and one. Well, the question now, will the 58% uh, free throw shooting of North have an impact in the last two minutes and 30 seconds? Because South is not out of it. Murphy gets a pair, he has 23. Here comes that half court trap. 68 to 58. One thing I will say about uh, Brad Wayner, especially on that last uh, possession, he's not getting rid of the ball soon enough. He's allowing the double team to get to him. Right, and Schmitty's open there, and he's either got to back up a little bit to not allow the trap to come, wait for someone to flash high post, or opposite uh, side of the floor, he can reverse the ball. Uh, just back yourself up, almost not to the line, but get yourself back away from the trap to avoid it, or slice it. A good shot of Brad Wayner. A two for two trip gives him 18 points on the night, and more importantly, gives his team a 12 point advantage. Decker with a steal. He's going hard to the hoop and he puts it down. Decker with 14 points. Good night having not played much in the first half. Murphy's shot is off. Andrew Stewart in the scrum for the ball. Jake Fry coming in, number 25. We're well, under two minutes now, Chris. Yeah, I was gonna say an offensive explosion for North in the second half, having just 28 at halftime, and now in the mid-70s by the time this one's over. Actually, they had 23 at half, scored 28 in the third quarter alone. Inside feed to Schmitz, good. Well, North running their own little backdoor moves now. Another steal for Chad Decker. Crap, oh, they're gonna get him for a walk. Had the right idea, dish it off. South is clearing the bench. They're gonna get the five young men who are on the floor, out of the game. Garrett Renzman, number 11, is in. Lucas Wilson, number 15, is in. Alan Conrad, 51. Travis Young, 33. And number 41, Adam Koenig. Those are all the Southside kids. Jake Fry, we mentioned, number 25, Andrew Stewart, 44, was in. David Suxy, number four, is in. And Greg Manns comes in, his first action of the night. Okay, get a good shot of uh, Chad Decker. Didn't play much in the first half, had a big, big second half. He had 14 points for the game. 11 of those coming in the second half. Free throw attempt by Renzelman is no good. Now the last thing you want North to do here is foul. Greg Manns with the rebound. Long lead feed to Stewart. He wanted to put it all, catch it and put it up all in one motion. Instead the ball slipped out of his hands. Brandon Dawn checks in. We're at 103, it's 74-58. 
North up by 16. Uh, too much second half North. Five three-point baskets, all of them coming in the third quarter, Chris. Yeah, and that was definitely the quarter, as you said, 23 to eight. We said it before. Well, they had four of them come right in a row, two by Horz and two by Wainer. Pardon me, five in a row. They all came right in a row real quick, like. Horizon had two, a three of those, and Wainer had two. Lucas Wilson gets charged with the foul. And Dave Soxie on the line. And again, I just have unofficially just 20 shot attempts for South in the second half, which isn't too many. North's gonna have 20 baskets in the second half. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 15. I know that a number of those trips were uh, free throw attempts. Well, Suxy with an 0 for 2 trip. And I believe uh, Andrew Stewart was out of bounds. Grabbed that rebound. We're down to 30 seconds left. Schmitz, good anticipation, will lay it up and in. He has 14 points. 15 seconds remaining. Back cut by Young. Stuffed by Stewart. And a jump ball called. Taking it to the hole, his shot is blocked. And that's the ball game. Sheboygan North makes it 13 in a row with a 76 to 58 win. When we come back, Coach Wright hopefully will have some uh, players from the uh, winning North team to talk to. What does being involved really mean? Is it making grilled cheese sandwiches for a sleepover? Staying for the curtain call at the talent show? Or learning the names of their favorite bands? Believe it or not, right now, there are parents just like you out there talking about things like this. From school to home, from friends to futures. And we'd like you to be a part of it. National PTA, every child, one voice. Because he was diagnosed with cancer as a baby because she was told she would not live to be nine, because she should have a chance to grow up. Each year, thousands of children learn they have cancer or another deadly disease. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital needs your help to research cures and treat these children, regardless of their parents' ability to pay, because they deserve to dream. Call now to learn more about St. Jude's life-saving work. Having twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? We're back at the Armory where Sheboygan North has defeated South by a score of 76 to 58. Down on the floor is Chris Wright with a couple of the players from the winning North squad. I'm here with senior uh, Adam Schmitz and Matt Hors and uh, Adam, uh, not a lot of offense in the first half, 76 points total. You really came out firing in the second half. What happened? Uh, 
Well, we didn't we didn't shoot that well in the first half. I think we were three of 18 from behind the arc, and that's not our style. Uh, we came out and wanted to get Chad back in the game right away, get him a couple one three long passes, and just get our offense going because we're going to put a lot of points on the board, and we're going to play D. That's how we win. Yeah, Chad got got into a little bit of foul trouble. Uh, Brian Herman, Kyle Tetchlog uh, stepped in big time. Yeah, our sophomore stepped up today and played big. I thought Kyle played real good, and Herman went to the board every time he could. Yeah, you also I noticed I made a comment, Adam, that the last couple weeks I've been watching you. Your shooting's been much better. You've been a big force on the rebounds. Uh, can you carry that over for the next couple games here? Um, I think if uh, we're going to get a ways, I think I have to. Um, I know Brad and Chad, they can score a lot of points, but I think when we get to the tournament, somebody else is going to have to step up, and I'm willing, and hopefully we'll just be better for it. Well, I know you got a pretty little jump shot, Adam, and you got to keep knocking them down the next couple yes. weeks. Morning, tough first first half for you. Then you get bang out four tough ones in the uh, third quarter. You, I believe, or second half, you ran them off 23 to eight in the uh, third quarter. What a turnaround! Well, that's what we. I mean, that's what we love to do. Get out and run like that. I mean, for ever, ever since we've been playing here in high school, that's our favorite thing to do is just go out and play ball and get on a big run like that. Yeah, that, you really hit some threes, and you know, and I keep saying you got to keep shooting them. I know you shoot about a million of them throughout the year. Uh, you just got to keep firing, huh? I'm not, especially in a game like this where they kept leaving me open for shots, and my teammates kept finding me. I mean, Brad and Chad and Adam and those guys, they kept feeding me the ball, and I can't lose confidence, and I'll just keep winging them up there, and they started falling for me in the second half. Well, I made a comment during the first half. They got a lot of dry penetration, easy baskets. Second half, you really put the clamps on. I said late in the game, I noticed you only gave up about 21 shot attempts. Great defensive effort, huh? It was. That's what we had to do, too, because the offense, we knew the offense would come, but we had to put the clamps down on the, on the defense if we wanted to make that run and try to put the game away. Big, big game on Thursday. Can you run an undefeated season in conference? It's going to be a heck of a game. East has got a, such a great team out there, and they gave us a run the first time. But if we play our game, I like our chances. Yeah, I agree with you. They're really athletic. If you don't have anything to do, come out Thursday night and uh, cheer on Coach Desitel and his, his senior-led team here. Uh, back to you, Marty. Great, inter great interview, Chris. Big second half by North. They scored 56 second half points to uh, South 26. That was a 30 point advantage. Uh, let's run through the scoring for uh, Sheboygan South. Tim Stubbe had seven points. Josh Zastro off the bench had 10. Anthony Vaughns had two. Jake Wilson, six. Nick Phelan had eight. All of those coming in the first half, all but two of those. Uh, Admir Admisovic started tonight had two points and Scott Murphy was uh, Mr. Big in terms of scoring for South. He had 23. North scoring was uh, accentuated by great balance. They had four players in double figures led by Brad Wainers 18. Matt Horz and Adam Schmitz each had 15 and Chad Decker was the fourth player in double figures with 14. Uh, chipping in was Kyle Tetchlog with nine points off the bench and Brian Bogenschutz with five more off the bench. Uh, great second half by North. Uh, their string runs to 13 in a row over the Southsiders. South, as we mentioned earlier, will be playing next Thursday up at uh, Green Bay Preble. They need to get that win, and they need to have North defeat East to finish in second place. Uh, North will be playing Green Bay East on Thursday night at the North Gym. That'll be our final regular season broadcast. You can look for us to uh, do some tournament games down the road. Uh, for my partners, Chris Wright, and uh, Derek Diesing, I want to say uh, thanks to the crew for the great job they did. Uh, my name is Mike Martin. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you down the road.